if your bed's not completely level and you use this stuff, your print still won't come up. The corners will stay down. Something like this is almost like a cheat code for printing. Having your machines calibrated and things like that is one of the most crucial things ever. And sometimes you may not necessarily be able to do a calibration or, you know, you have a deadline or something to meet and, you know, you can't stop production. But sometimes you can use things to compensate for that. If your bed's not completely level and you use this stuff, your print still won't come up. The corners will stay down, you know, so something like this is almost like a cheat code for printing. It'll do you a favor. So on a stand, on a stand like this, right? It's a dual color. It takes me about eight hours over the normal five for a, for one of my pistol stands. I can't afford to have that eight hour print fail. I ran two of these. I ran one with with without bed adhesive, and I ran one with bed adhesive. And the smallest corner came up on my other product. I can't sell it. This is a forty five dollar product that now. Eight hours of my time and materials gone, and I have to scrap, and I got to make a new one. You can only tolerate so much money loss. You know, I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's a business. I'm not, you know, I really enjoy what I do, but it's a business. It's not a hobby for me. So a failed print is lo losing money. I had a big production order a couple weeks ago, and it seemed like I couldn't get a single one of them to print. I, you know, I don't know what it was. I had we were having bad weather. I had power outages, which has nothing to do with bad adhesion, but we were having power outages time I was like okay you know what we're shutting down production for the day we're letting the weather clear I was it was like the two most stressful days of my life because I was like turned everything on the next day I for every single print I put the sh I put the, the the little amount that I had left I made it work for every single stand and I did that for every single stand and I didn't have one failed stand after that but I didn't have any corners lifted up I had no failed prints it was the biggest insurance policy slash peace of mind i could have had by the sixth one i was like boop, boop, walking away not even worrying about it you know it was like it was so solid you know the uh polymer adhesive has definitely saved my ass quite a few times you know i'm a businessman i'm also you know i got to keep my expenses down you know if i didn't need a 60 dollar bottle of adhesive i wouldn't buy a 60 dollar bottle of adhesive. this is going to last me like months months if that 60 dollar bottle ensures that I'm not going to have a failed print. Well, money well spent. I only run PTG or high temp stuff. Um, you know, if you're running high temps and you're running, you're running fast, I run fast. I mean, my prints, my prints used to take eight hours um, for my pistol stands. Now they take like four and they, they haul ass. I wouldn't be able to pull that off without good bed adhesion. There's no, there's absolutely no way, you know, so that $60 bottle is completely justified. I'm not gonna tell anybody to go spend $60 on something if they're only printing a PLA print once every three weeks. It's foolish, you know? You get purple glue stick when you start printing. And then you have hairspray. This is next. This is after hairspray, you know? But this is the only other option after that. This is all you have. If you're having problems with this, then I'm gonna start saying that you might be having problems with your settings. And it's just nice to, to see companies in the US, you know, putting out a solid quality product.